Philippians chapter 1 Paul and Timothy the servants of Jesus Christ, to all the saints in Christ Jesus, which are at Philippi, with the bishops and deacons, grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God upon your remembrance of you. Always in your prayer of mine for you all making request, with I, I for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. You and as it is meet for me to think this of you all, because I how you in my heart, inasmuch as both in my bonds, and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, ye all are partakers of my grace. For God is my record, how greatly I long after you all, in the bowels of Jesus Christ. And this I pray, that your loo may abound yet more and more in knowledge, and in all judgment, that ye may approve things that are excellent, that ye may be sincere, and without offense till the day of Christ, being filled with the fruities of righteousness, which are by Jesus Christ unto the glory and praise of God. But I would ye should understand, brethren, that the things which happened unto me, how fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel, so that my bonds in Christ are manifest in all the palace and in all other places, and many of the brethren in the Lord, waxing confident by my bonds, are much more bold to speak the word without fear. Some indeed preach Christ, even of Inui and strife, and some also of goodwill. The one preach Christ of contention, not sincerely, supposing to add affliction to my bonds, but the other of Lou, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. What then? Notwithstanding Yuri way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is preached, and either in do royce, yea, and will reis. For I know that this shall turn to my salutation through your prayer, and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, according to my earnest expectation, and my hope, that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but that with all bolds, as always, so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. For to me to lie you is Christ, and to die is gain. But if I lie you in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor, yet what I shall choose, I wot not. For I am in a strait betwixt two, hawing a desire to depart, and to be with Christ, which is far better. Northals, to abide in the flesh, is more needful for you. And hawing this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you all, for your furtherance and eye of faith, that your rejoicing may be more abundant in Jesus Christ for me, by my coming to you again. Only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Christ, that whether I come and see you, or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs, that ye stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel, and in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an udent token of perdition, but to you of salutation, and that of God. For unto you it is due in the behalf of Christ, not only to believe you on him, but also to suffer for his sake, hawing the same conflict which ye saw in me, and now here to be in me. Chapter 2 if there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of Lou, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, hind the same Luke being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind let each esteem other better than themselves. Look not your man on his own things, but your remand also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, you in the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and drew in him a name which is about Yuri name, that at the name of Jesus Yuri ni should bow of things in Hoin, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that Yuri tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salutation with fear and trembling. 
For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Do all things without murmurings and disputings, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sonnies of God, without rebuke in the middies of a crooked and poorest nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. Holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I how not run in vain, neither labored in vain. Yea, and if I be offered upon the sacrifice and seruse of your faith, I owe, and raise with you all. For the same cause also do ye oi, and raise with me. But I trust in the Lord, yes, send to me though shortly then to you, and I also may be of good comfort when I know your state. For I how no man like-minded, who will naturally care for your state. For all seek their own, not the things which are Jesus Christ's. But ye know the proof of him, that as a son with the Father, he hath shrewd with me in the gospel. And therefore I hope to send presently, so soon as I shall see how it will go with me. But I trust in the Lord, that I also myself shall come shortly. Yet I suppose it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, my brother and companion in labor, and fellow soldier, but your messenger, and he that ministered to my wants. For he longed after you all, and was full of holiness, because that he had heard that he had been a sick. For indeed he was sick knife unto death, but God had mercy on him, and not on him only, but on me also, lest I should house sorrow upon sorrow. I sent him therefore the more carefully, that when ye see him again ye may raise, us, and that I may be the less sorrowful. Receive you him therefore in the Lord with all gladness, and hold such in reputation. Because for the work of Christ he was nigh unto death, not regarding his life, to supply your lack of sorrows toward me.